What's up everybody? So I'm coming to you again today to make a second video to give you an update on something that I said earlier today. Now earlier in my live video, I did say that there was changes that were starting to be made to the stimulus bill that has already passed the house. And I said, if these changes are being made now and they're pulling things out of it, more changes can be made later and later. So it happens to be about six hours later. Uh, evolution, let's turn to our Elon Moy. Hey, Elon. Well, good morning, Carl. What we're hearing is that a source is telling me the Democrats are now tightening the requirements around who will receive a stimulus check in the new COVID relief package. So there has been changes to the stimulus checks, the $1,400 stimulus checks, and who is going to receive those checks. I'm gonna play a video for you and I'm gonna play the full clip for you a little bit later to give you the full detail of what is going on now and what Joe Biden is approving. Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about all of that next. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I'm the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are a wealth and investment management firm located in Orlando, Florida, with clients all across the United States. If this is your first time coming to my channel or seeing one of my videos, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button, please ring the bell so that you can get an update every time I post a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. Please give me those thumbs up. So really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and play this full video clip for you and then I'm gonna give you my interpretation of what else could potentially change coming up just after this. Well, good morning, Carl. What we're hearing is that a source is telling me the Democrats are now tightening the requirements around who will receive a stimulus check in the new COVID relief package. The eligibility requirements to receive the full $1,400 will remain the same at $75,000 for individuals, $150,000 for couples, but those checks will now phase out faster. For individuals, now if you make more than $80,000, you will not receive a check. And for couples, that cutoff is $160,000. Now, this was really a response to moderate Democrats who were concerned that the checks were not very well targeted. And I am told that President Biden has signed off on this change. Now, one battle that moderates did lose, however, was on unemployment insurance. Moderates have wanted that extra boost in unemployment to be reduced to $300 a week. I'm told it will remain at $400 a week, and that benefit will still go through the end of August. So as you can see from that video, there is a reduction in the amount of people that will receive this third stimulus check. This is something that's been negotiated for quite some time now. There's been a drive to kind of make this last and final stimulus check more targeted to the people that really, really need it. And what data shows is that the people that really put the stimulus checks to work in the economy by stimulating the economy, going out and shopping, buying groceries, doing the essential needs that they have are fitting the money on their rent, mortgages and things of that nature are the people that are currently making below 50,000 a year. So this targets that crowd plus a little bit more. So as of now, the $1,400 checks are still gonna be granted to those that are making 75,000 and less as an income for individuals, but it's not gonna be phased out all the way up to 99,000. That phase out is gonna drop at 80,000. So that's essentially cutting off about 20,000 dollars worth of that salary range for most of those individuals out there. So for those that are making over $80,000 as individuals, they will not be receiving this third economic stimulus check. <clears throat> Additionally, for those that are married filing jointly, those couples out there, if you're making less than 100, 150,000 and less, you will qualify for this second or third stimulus check, I should say. Previously, it was everyone that was making under $200,000 would receive it. So again, these are two significant changes that has taken place today. Earlier today, I told you about some of the fluff that was pulled out of the plan, which everyone expected some of the fluff to be pulled out. But now it looks like we're starting to move down the ladder on the eligibility on people who will receive the economic stimulus. All this is done and all this is really coming to light to drive down the cost of the spending that has taken place in this country. 
in another video that I'm going to post coming up soon, I'm going to be speaking about the negative effects that could really hurt a lot of people as they reach retirement age of over investing in a 401k. Their 401ks, when they get when they start to get taxed at retirement, are more than likely going to start getting taxed at a higher rate as as opposed to a lower rate typically when you're in retirement because we're going to have to pay for all of the spending that is taking place today. So I'm going to explain that and I'm going to talk about that in another video. So please stay tuned. Look out for that video about the IRA and 401k tax traps. Additionally, if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, if you have any comments or concerns, please leave your messages below. And also, please give me your thoughts. Do you think that we should move forward with the stimulus as it is, or should we continue to trim it down, trim it down, and trim it down even further? I even had some comments where people said that we should only have um, a separate stimulus bill just for the economic stimulus checks, just the checks by himself, and let everything else be taken up on a separate matter. That is a decent idea and a decent thought, and I kind of agree with that. However, you break it up too much, then they'll start piecemealing things in there, and a lot of stuff won't get done. So, as always, again, please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell so you can get an update each time I post a new video. And lastly, please like and share this video to help me increase the financial literacy of our globe. Thank you so much, and have a great day.